Generally, when I start a project, I watch the film a lot. I talk to the director, see what they're thinking. I try to really understand the film and understand the story and the character's motivations and and what's happening, and then the ideas start to percolate. But the best way that I've found to start is just to start. And you may go off initially on a tangent that you realize isn't the right way to go, but you've got to start somewhere. So I always just jump in. I find a scene that is particularly interesting to me and um, and just start start working on it. And it's, you know, there's no grand philosophy. There's no... Um, there's no overarching um, like approach that I use from film to film. It's really just I'm following my feelings and following my instincts to a certain extent, but also just how I'm responding in the in the moment to what I'm seeing and hearing. And uh, if a sound works and I, I get a positive response from that, then I move on and I just I keep building and building and building and. Generally, I, I pop around the film a lot, and my editors and I trade sessions, and they're working on scenes. When they're done, I get them. I work on them some more. Sometimes we'll get halfway through a project and just realize that a scene's just not working, and so we start over. But really, it's a, it's a feel thing. To me, it's like painting was. It's uh projecting the emotions on the canvas in that case, or projecting the emotions that you're feeling inside about a moment in the film onto the film using sound, or using some treatment to the sound, or using some reverb, or... For me, it's still a fascinating discovery process. And starting from a, well, it's not a blank slate because you've got picture and, and production sound, but it's a, it's, um, it's a, it's a blank slate from the sound designer's point of view. The goal being to make, as I said before, that world of the characters as rich and and understandable and as relatable as as possible. And that could be a, an odd sound of a you know a, a dog barking in a funny way or a car backfiring or a jet flying over. If you just let your imagination run wild, then Sometimes the really good ideas just kind of percolate up out of nowhere, and you don't know where that idea came from. Sometimes I will just do random searches in the library, and and if I'm stumped, I'll just just start listening to sounds that have no obvious bearing upon what I'm working on, but sometimes can lead me down paths that bear fruit. (laughs) ¶¶ 